Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. So to, guys, today I'm going to do y'all a general collective message because I woke up this morning and they kept telling me things are shifting, things are shifting. Um, um, so <laughs> I'm sitting here with my cup of joe. <laughs> Join me for a cup of coffee. So guys, when they told me things were shifting, um, we've got all but five of the rooms here. And so... I asked, how are, how, how are, how's everybody shifting? What are they going to find along their journey? And whatever sub-messages, okay? And they said, they actually told me to pull the enchanted map for the second row. And then they told me to pull the tarot. And when I went for the Denise Lynn deck, they said, no, not yet. <laughs> so just to tell y'all that, um, and they were talking to me last night too. Um, I did a reading a while back about and I pulled the compass card I think it was and they were talking about in that reading about somebody who's um had a passed on relative that had passed away at a certain place and that this person their spirit was stuck there and they were waiting for someone to come help them well guys last night right before right like right before I go to sleep I get a lot of messages from the other side and I got a message from from this person that's stuck in this house, I got a message from their, a passed on loved one of theirs on the other side. Guys, I generally don't get messages from the deceased, but somebody is, is waiting for this person to be released. So I don't know who this is for, um, cause it could apply to one or more of you, but somebody on the other side is patiently waiting for the universe to send this psychic medium their way to help release this person. Okay. And I don't, okay, so they're telling me that the person on the other side does not, cannot contact or speak with or have any communication with the person that's still stuck on the earth plane. So I don't know who this message is for, but guys, take it how it resonates. Um, they're telling me the message may be for one of you. They're also telling me that someone that eventually comes across this message will be the person that will go. Or will be instrumental in getting the person there that will release this person from there. Take that how it resonates, guys. I'm just giving you the messages as I get them, okay? But I do know that there's a lot of unhappiness on the other side. Maybe it's a husband or a wife. Because they didn't tell me if this person was a male or female. I'm feeling female, but sometimes I'll feel female energy. But it's actually a male that is in touch with their feminine side. So guys, take it how it resonates. But somebody on the other side is patiently waiting for the trail to open up, for the psychic medium to make it there to release this person. They're waiting. So I'm just giving you all the message, okay? So let's move on. So this morning what we have is for how things are changing is we have a lot of joy. One Joe is also um, joy with yourself, joy with other people that you know, um, being in touch with some other people, knowing that your gifts are coming in. Because you've been listening through the messages, okay? They're also telling me you've gone through some, some of you have gone through some kind of doorway that's now on your personal journey that gives you a lot of um, just, um, relief from distress. It's creating an opening for you, okay? They're also telling me, giving me Fihu, which is talking, which, I mean, Fihu can be a new job, it can be money coming in. But they're telling me it, it, it means a little bit of all that, but it also means somebody who is finding out, who is finding out that their gifts are no longer a secret to them. They're they're real, they're or they're real, and they're also realizing what their life purpose is and what their mission is. And then we have movement going forward. So that's how things are changing. Is there's actually going to be movement because, and, and this is also. Um, well, I see this as a chariot a lot of times because when they talk about Rado, they talk about like Jera, it's it's a period of about a year, it's a period of movement, one person being on their journey in a chariot, or them taking their crew with them. Okay. Take that how it resonates, guys. All right. Then they're saying after you go forward, after that, you're gonna have you'll be on your spiritual journey. You'll have one main gift, they're saying, and some of you are going to have a lot of little gifts, and you're going to have to figure out over time how you're going to use these or how you're going to have to figure out how they work for you to have an opening, another opening in the process of self-change and for your destiny to open up. Now, some of you are going to feel like your strings being used against you because you're having to wait, okay? 
Some of you, they're saying, guys, don't shoot the messenger. Some of you, they're saying, you're not, you're just not understanding some of this stuff that's going on with you. But when you do, it's going to lead to a lot of birth, which of course is going into the future as like on a timeline. Okay, guys, take that how it resonates. Please don't shoot the messenger. Um, they're also saying some of you, it's so subtle that you're not seeing it. And you're holding on to some old things that are clogging your vision, they're saying. You're needing to release and let go and, and, and realize what your new gifts are. And for some of you, until you do that, you're not going to have as much flow as you thought that you would. But when you do, pretty much, hallelujah, I'm so glad. Because then we have microchism to macrochism and going through a doorway and success. So that's what you can expect after. They're saying some of you are going to have to meditate and, and ask what am I doing that's holding me back? Or what am I not seeing? Some of you, it's it's the way you see things, the way you view things. Some of you, it is, you're just so headstrong that you're not understanding that some preconceived notions have to be let go of. You have to go with the flow, guys. To have this turnaround to be flow, you're going to have to, like, some of you, your gifts are coming in in a way that, the way you're wanting to use them or the way you're looking at them is not, I'm trying to figure out how they're, how they're trying to say this to me. It's not what you thought it was. And you're going to have to see the world in a different way. So guys, I would suggest reading. I would suggest going on the web. Guys, the web is huge. Uh, going maybe on YouTube and looking up some videos about your particular gift to get some insight into how subtle things can be. And some of you, you're going to think it works one way, but it works another way. And you've got to let go of that idea of how it works because it's going to hold you up because you're not letting it flow. So I'm seeing some someone doing some kind of a releasing ceremony. I'm seeing somebody sitting Indian style in front of a camera and saying, or in front of a candle and saying, okay, angel, spirit guys, help me to let this go. Guys, if you ask for guidance from your spiritual counselors, they will give it to you. If they give you pictures or words, or if you're walking along and you find a particular rock that speaks to you, or a tree, or an animal, you see an animal you never, maybe you go out somewhere and you see an animal you're not used to seeing. Look that animal up, they're saying. It will help give you some clarity on how your gifts work. Guys, take that how it resonates, okay? Because some of you just, you're thinking it's going to work a certain way and it doesn't work that way and that's what's holding you back. Let go of preconceived ideas, guys, because your own your own way of looking at the world is not how you need to be looking at it. Take that how it resonates. So guys, for this second row here, I'm going to pull, I actually went to pre-shuffle and they told me, no, don't. <laughs> so this is what you're going to find going into the future after this process of self-change and this birth. So let's, let me pull a couple of cards here. I'm going to move all these runes up, guys, because I am on limited space in, in, my, in my place here. But I'm going to move these up. I'm going to actually put these to the side. I'm going to move these up because we're going to pull a couple of these um, enchanted map cards from Colette Bear, um, Colette Baron Reed, and we're going to see what what they're saying um, about what you're going to find there along the journey. Maybe it will be something that will help you to change your view. Um, I'm not really sure. So let's see. There are guys, angels of other ca uh, council members of other people. I call you in. I ask that you give us some give your people some guidance on what they need to do, how they need to see it, what they need to release. What other messages do you want to give them to help them use their gifts or see their gifts or realize or figure out what it is you need them to do or what what however it applies. Other spiritual counselors of people that are needing help along their path. As things are changing. Things are definitely changing, guys. Um, I have a feeling it has something to do with that dragon energy I was talking about yesterday. Um, I actually tried to look that up because I remember some kind of mythology somewhere that said dragons make the world go round. But I couldn't find anything. Maybe someone else can look that up and put something in the comments for me. Something about dragons and the way the world, the energy is shifting, guys. And it's some kind of mythology, mythology from another culture. I don't know. I just I had something nigging at me, and I couldn't, you know, kept 
Pokemon. I just couldn't pull it in. So, maybe someone can help out there for the channel. Help some other people that do like dragons. Or maybe someone knows more about dragons than I do. Um, or maybe someone that loves to do research can do some research and then let me know. And I would happily share it with the collective. Because I did put that cloud dragon up on my channel. And guys, it looks like a dragon head to me. I don't know about y'all. but And then I saw a phoenix and a turtle. And I saw... Actually, on my way back from town that morning, before I saw that dragon cloud, right when I got home, I saw two other dragon clouds, too. So, guys, it feels like that's some kind of fire energy changing. Maybe it'll show up in the fire reading, because I am going to do the earth best this morning. But let's see what your spiritual counselors are saying about what you're going to find there once you get there. They're still telling me to shuffle, guys. That's the only reason why I'm still talking. What do y'all want to tell them? Cut. Okay. Just once. Okay. Guys, I do I do what my Rice Krispies tell me to. No, I'm just joking. Okay, so, all right, so protecting treasure and unexpected visitors. And it's in the details. Slow and steady wins the race. All right, anything else they need to know? Goblins. Guys, that's where you're being stubborn. That's where you're feeling like, and you need to listen more. Okay, so guys, um, first of all, while you're on your journey, okay, um, protecting treasure, they are trying to protect you, okay, see how she's sitting on this treasure, they are trying to protect you, and they're waiting for understanding to come to you about how you are uh, hindering your own progress, in the meantime, they are protecting you, and they are wanting you to know that they're working on things for you, but you also have to see the light, so to speak, does that make sense to anybody? But, they, but your spiritual counselors are around you. They are protecting you from elementals, from, um, uh, from what? From other energies that are not beneficial to you, they're saying. Take that how it resonates. And then unexpected visitors. So there may be some people that show up. Maybe you overhear a conversation, um, you see someone, you meet someone, you overhear something on the web, you see something that makes you go, oh, is that what I'm doing? Wow, I didn't know. Okay, so guys, you're going to hear something somewhere, somehow in the details, that you're going to, it's going to bring you the clarity that you need. Cause, and then you're going to realize, oh, wow, am I doing that? And they are saying you need to do some research about it. But it's some little thing that someone has stuck in their call, stuck, you know, stuck in your head. That's okay. So guys are telling me, they're telling me that a couple of you are repeat, hearing repeat sub, un, subconscious messages from something that you grew up with that is hindering you a belief in your own family, they're saying. So they're saying something that you think is true is not true. It's something you've heard your family say over and over and over and over and over again. And then you realize, well, wait a minute, that's not true for me. Or that's not true at all. Something about letting go of the old to be able to shift into the new guys. And they're telling, they're pointing out all these little, little lights here. Your spirit guides are trying to tell you. Oh, and some of your ancestors are trying to tell you as well. They're trying to tell you this is not true. So somebody has something stuck in their head from the past, okay, that once you see it or hear it or understand it, now your luck is going to change. They're saying this is looking like a horseshoe. So someone of your ancestors are trying to tell you something that is a belief in your family is not true. And it's in the details. It's a little bitty thing, guys. So, something that somebody used to say, I'm hearing a grandpa and a dad used to say all the time that simply is not true. Like maybe you have to work hard for your money or you don't deserve anything unless you're working, you know, 80 hours a week because that's what they had to do. But times have changed. We don't have to do that anymore, guys, do we? So it's something small that is holding you back from seeing how your gifts work because you believe something that is not true. All right, guys, take that how it resonates. They say, then once you realize this, slow and steady, your gifts start to come in. See all this light around her? And see how she's facing the other way? They're saying, in this at this time, it's something from the past. See how she's got her arms crossed that you're refusing to let go of. If you let go of that one little thing, all this light's going to come in. And it's something that's just simply not true. See these goblins? It's something that you believe that's not true, guys. So 
Maybe ask some family members of yours. Maybe ask an older relative of, you know, tell me something about great, great aunt and uncle so-and-so or great, great grandpa, you know, what kind of favorite sayings they have. And, and you might hear something from another relative or another extended family member, like a cousin that says, yeah, so-and-so used to say this all the time. And you go, oh my God, that's what it is. That's what it is. Guys, it's a goblin that's holding you back, but it's, it's something small and it's in the details. So look for that to see how you can open up more. And then you start listening. And guys, it opens up. Because now you're listening to your spirit guides and angels. Does that make sense? And 5 plus 3 is 8. So that's almost to 10. So that means that that's a lot of clarity, guys. 8 is a lot of clarity. Yeah. Let's see, uh, they're saying they're pointing out the numbers. So 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's a 12 card. Some of y'all may have to look these up. 4 plus 1 is 5. And we got another 5. 7. We have another 3. 5. And we have an 8. And 8 is where the breakthrough is. So guys, this is something that you just is in your subconscious that you believe to be true. And it's not true. So for you to have this breakthrough... You're going to have to find out what that is in your family tree. Okay, guys, that makes total sense. Does that not make sense to somebody? Because they're saying that it's it's something from your past that's clouding your judgment. But once you see it, you come to yourself, you go through this doorway, then you have success. Okay, and that's at the bottom. That's after all this, guys. So you, you just got to go figure out what that is. All right. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and put these up here. Protecting treasure, mm -hmm. unexpected visitors. Mm -hmm. In the details, mm -hmm. slow and steady, goblins, and listening. All right. Guys, if it's if if, if uh, they also just point, I said, look at the bottom. Guys, Wizard of Awareness. Once you figure out what this is, now you're aware. They're saying, okay. So there's going to be a breakthrough for some of y'all, okay. And this is for the collective. This is how it's changing, okay. So guys, take that how it resonates. I'm going to pull a couple of tarot here. Um, so spirit guides, spiritual counselors, and other people. What other messages do you want to shine the light on? What other messages do you want to tell them? Ideas, hopes, dreams, um, messages. What else do they need to know? Do they need to know? What else do they need to know? What else do they need to know? What else do they need to know? I knew that was going to come up, <laughs> guys. When they when they when they've been talking to me all morning, sometimes it just so now you have the spear of destiny in your hand. Okay. Now you're going to have flow, and maybe an archangel will come in to help you. And raising consciousness. And then jumping timelines. So guys, this little thing, whatever it is, is what's holding you up. Okay? And you do have an, apparently an archangel that's willing to help you. Who's pulling in your spirit guides to try to lead you to the person that's going to help clear this up for you. So that you can then jump forth and go forward. Okay? Um, I knew that was going to come up too. Guys, sometimes they'll just tell me something and I, I just, I'll feel my way into it and I just know. So guys, they're saying, listen to your intuition. This is for um, some of you that are, um, I heard star seeds. I also heard, this is also for some of you that have psychic, um, psychic and psychic mediumship abilities and light workers. So yeah, guys, um, and healers too. They're saying this is applying to some of you that have all of those gifts. 
or some of you that have just one of those main gifts, how, take it however it resonates, in between worlds. It has to do with that spark. So guys, once you, you figure out what this is, they're saying you're now going to be on your way. Okay? And this is a message for someone else. I feel like they're telling me that some of you, when you realize what this is, okay, your spark's going to light up. And as you go into the, it's, this is, guys, this right here. On your journey over time, microchism, macrochism, finding out what it is, and then new birth. Because, guys, a lot of, especially the light workers and, and some of the psychics are meant to, and healers especially, are meant to go forth and not literally touch, but come in contact with certain people that's going to. I'm hearing ignite, but that's that's not quite the right word. It's going to open up those chakras in them that are going to start their, add to their spiritual journey, help with their transformation. They're pointing out her wings right here. So some of you, when you find out what this thing is, once you let that go and realize that's what's holding you back, more of your gifts may come in and people, the people that you need to meet that are going to be part of a chain reaction are going to come your way. Guys, take that how it resonates. Okay, so that's what I have for the general collective this morning. That's what is holding some of you back. Um, but they're saying that in the meantime, till you figure out what this is, okay, don't be frustrated. Um, some of you may, or may have to go do the research or whatever, okay, so um, or find the person that's going to help make this open up for you. So, guys, that's what I have for you this morning, okay? So, um, this is just a general message for the... Uh, the healers, the light workers, the psychics, the psychic mediums, and all the, you know, all the healers. Okay, guys? So, all right, Lana Scott Lighthouse, guys, be a light in the darkness. Be a hero. Be your own hero.